So if you're watching Swiggy this, boys, Belsma and Kimmy Kim. If you're watching this, why you ain't got no names for the fellas? Hi, welcome to our channel. My name is Courtney, and this is my husband, Eddie, aka the E Dub. Okay, so uh, if this is your first time joining us, I want to let you know what this channel is about. If this is not your first time joining, you already know what this channel is about. Key fam, what's up? Okay, this channel is about positive love, positive light, and positive energy. So we want to always give you some good old positivity on this channel. We'll talk about relationships. We'll talk about a host of different things. But tonight, we're going to divert a little bit, and we're going to talk about a reality show that's in our home state, which is called Love and Marriage Huntsville. And this is probably about the third or fourth episode. I'm not going to say that my husband is a fan. I kind of got him watching it. So he always, from the beginning, not cared for the show. But a rum, we're gonna talk about it. Told you. Okay. All right. So, who do you want to start off first? Who? The squeaky voice and Bessemer. Squeaky voice is Melanie Holt, and Bessemer is Letitia Scott. And and the reason he said Bessemer because she from Bessemer. She went to school in Bessemer, from what um, we know of. So, and Bessemer is we right. call it Bessemer, but right Bessemer is. Birmingham is what right outside of Birmingham. yeah it's right outside of Birmingham. actually where we go to church at is in bessemer alabama Bama. Bama. all right so let's get it let's get into this because we just went downstairs that's why i look a little you know like i look because we just left from downstairs in the den and we come up here to do this review asap before we forget yeah miss my football game for this go gators that's right anywho uh yeah, squeaky voice and Belsma. They got issues, man. Issues, man. You know, uh Belsma is kinda I hate to say naive. A little bit. I think that Tisha is I, I think that she is a little young in the mind now. No, she I'm just calling her what it is. She's naive. Well, I I'm I think it's different bit different between being naive and just young in the mind, like stuff just don't like it's almost to me like she still a teenager no, like she just I just think she's naive like squeaky voice said she thinks she's a zimp from uh being cheated on everybody you know has a chance to be cheated on so for, did you understand that but yeah, when we was downstairs yeah, that ain't what you were saying yeah, that's what she was saying i said but that ain't what you were saying oh yeah 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 i, 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 well, I did say that that ain't what you said. Anywho. You said that. I just said squeaky voice has a negative look about for marriage. marriage. Because she think everybody going to, everybody marriage is going to basically fall apart. Mm -hmm. You know? And see, it, but, okay, she said it's a great possibility that most people are being cheated on their marriage. Majority. That's what she used the word majority. And. I would do you say you don't agree with that but I say yeah it is a majority of people that's being cheated on in their marriage whether they know it or not that's happening now I myself will know that I'm in the minority of it and I'm sure a lot of people are but to say that this is what her words were she said my husband don't cheat on me period and I don't want you to say that my husband ain't cheating on me he, my, never, cheated he on. never cheated on me and that's we would say what I would say as well as what Melanie say is that my husband never cheated on me not that I know of because we want to put that not that I know of and that's what any situation no my son ain't never did nothing like that not that I know of my daughter ain't never did not that I ain't nobody never talked about me not that I know because you want to put that because if you don't put that in there, you saying it's a possibility. No, it ain't never happened. And we ain't with the, our spouses 24 7, seven days a week. So we don't know what they doing. And that, when you put that, I don't know, of, in there, that kind of gives you, you know, do you trust your spouse all the way? Okay? Because I can say, hey, do you think your wife cheated on you? No, my wife never cheated on me. I usually leave it like that because I have confidence and I have faith and I trust you I know you won't do anything like that but I don't, I don't think that that leaves that that possibility mm -hmm. saying that you don't trust them no. yeah that's no. what I think well man uh, 
your wife cheated on you? Man, nah, not that I know of. No. That means saying, okay, I don't know she cheated, but she probably could have cheated, but I don't know about her cheating. So that's all. You, that's what you're saying. No. no. Yeah, it's, that's what. No. Yeah. Don't do that. Well. Yeah. Okay, you're doing this on camera. Don't do that. <laughs> so, so, um, so basically. Anyway, let's move past that because we got our own opinion. Yeah, I don't, I don't I, really, I don't really think. Now, for me, if somebody say, "Do you think your husband ever cheated on you, or we ever cheat on you?" I'm like, no. I mean, I trust my husband. Like, we got a good marriage and stuff like that. And if he cheated on me, he got he must be mighty good because he spent most of his time with me. So no, you know, but. You know, not that I know. I I don't know what people do outside of that. No, that's so, true. But yeah. still, you gotta give your spouse some kind of credit, some kind of confidence. But what, what her thing was, I don't like what you said. My husband ain't never cheated on me. Period. I mean, she was just adamant. She was angry. Okay. How you think it was? The, I think it was the content of the conversation. That's reason yeah. why squeaky voice got to kind of clap back out. That's okay. What I'm so going back, since we're on them, going to the situation with her husband which is uh marcel now martel which is melody husband he called him out because he got caught cheating or was put on throwed up on the bus or whatever he feel like they was talking about him but anyway so he was like like i'm not the only one in this group that has not cheated he said uh, some of y'all got like 20 girlfriends or 20 women and so anyway that reference was made toward marcel so Marceau, Martel Mar said basically that Marceau has cheated on his wife, which is Tisha. So why even throw your boy on the bus like that because you got caught cheating? Well, he got mad because I think they've been, you know, they had one season, this is the second season, and so he watched the way he was on the first season, and he just snickled, you know, on different clippets a no, little bit, something like that. Because, so, yeah, he, he basically, yeah, threw no, his own on the bus. you don't do that, man. You know, of course, you got caught cheating. You going down, now you got to drag your boy down with you. And so, that's, that's the, tacky. the problem is that, to me, what Tisha is having her issue is not really so with Melanie and Martel is really with her husband Marceau is that he is not comforting her to make it make her feel at peace with no I'm not cheating you know um when it's been when it when it came to him you know and she said look are you cheating you know and he's like what you think oh, well, maybe, I didn't even have to answer that question what do you think maybe he can't give her that peace of mind because he is cheating all right that's okay. what I say Maybe he can't do it, you know? And if you are cheating dog, I'm just saying, hey, y'all the one putting y'all lives on TV. But, hey, you know. He just seemed guilty to me. You yeah, know? that's what I'm saying. That's the reason why he can't get a piece of mind. Yeah, that's our opinion. He just seemed guilty to me because if I knew that somebody I'd would. I'd be adamant. No, right, I would girl. be going back to my husband. If somebody said I was cheating, I would try my best to reassure my husband that I am not cheating, like no way, shape, form, or fashion. I would not be like, well, you know, well, you, what you think? No, I ain't cheat. Well, what you think? I actually have to answer that question. What you think? Oh, I can't believe you got to ask. No, I'm not. And then it's like, uh, what? That's what you want to give her? That she going around hearing this from third parties and that's what you want to give her? So, you know, and in fact, from close friends, not just people off the street, from close friends. So, you know, and that's what you know she's lashing out at melanie because she really needs her husband to give her some peace of mind about him not cheating but he once again is not, he's how not can cheating. somebody give you peace of mind by not cheating when they probably are cheating you know so you can't do that because you know you're already doing one thing and you're going to sit there and continue to lie and that's one thing i give him credit he's not lying he's not telling the truth but he's not lying either so he just Leave it in that little gray area right there. Leave it in the little gray area. So he's not lying, but he's not telling the truth. So. Well, he kind of sat at that table when they was eating in line and saying, what, that it, it's, it's people that can be faithful to their spouse. No, he's not lying about that. He said people. Some people can be faithful to their spouse. And then again, she went into that again, that my husband ain't never cheated. And but he, he didn't say anything after she said And that. Melanie turned her head and I said, oh, she's so that extra. was shady. That was shady. 
D when she turned her head and was like, Squeaky. you know how you turn your head like you're trying not to laugh and you don't and, want them to see your face. And another thing about Squeaky was, why are you gonna wear something like that to breakfast around other men? You know, you got your goods out. And, you know, just you know, it's just me. You know, I won't want my wife to do that in front of my homeboys. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. Yeah. That, that's just to that me. Was too much. It was too much. Even though, she, you know, it ain't like she, you know, no, she real no, heavy chested, but it doesn't matter. yeah, that no, was, no. it was too sexual, too sexual for to be out like that. But, you know, she gave her reasoning why she did it, but Still when no. they went back to the editing part, when Kimmy was dressed she like that, she man. was going out. No, she was going out with the girls. She was going out. So that was a going out with girls type of atmosphere, even dress. But what she had on, y'all yeah, hanging and chilling out at the cabin, so that was just like too much. But, you know, right. each on. Okay, next subject is probably it for me. Is, uh, what's his name? Kimmy? And Maurice. Maurice. Now, Maurice, I understand why he wants to bring his ex-wife and her husband down to be close to his son. Yeah. It's a noble reason. Okay, let's give the people a little bit. Hold that thought, baby. Okay, so. Okay, stay back down. <laughs> that was cute. So, um, Maurice and Kimmy recently got married. I don't know. They probably been married a year or something like that or whatever. So, they got married. Monster, which is Maurice's son, stays in Michigan with his mom. So, the oh, agreement. Awesome. Yeah, and her husband that we just found out on the last show. That's one of the key elements of the situation. Yeah, she got a husband. So so he stays, you know, with the ex-wife. His child stays with the ex-wife in Michigan, right? The agreement was when he turned a certain age, I don't know if it's 16 or whatever, teenage age, that he would stay with him so that, you know, he's in that age where he needs to really, you know, teach him how to be a man, blah, blah, blah. So that was the agreement, but I guess somewhere along the way, she bagged out, I guess when he moved to Huntsville and kind of started his own life, lost weight from what we heard, allegedly. Lost weight, you know, built his credit up and did all this stuff and the ex-wife in her feelings, cause I guess when he was chunky. Um, but, but, but when he was chunky, was he funky? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so, um, so I guess, you know, um, and, and from what I heard, I'm trying to think, allegedly, it was him, it was her. I don't know, I ain't finna put that out there because I don't want nobody to say I'm wrong. But anyway, the way the divorce, <laughs> the, the reason they got divorced, I heard it, but I, I can't repeat it because I can't really remember. Yeah, don't know. But anyway, so, so now we're in the process of Maurice and Kimmy are married. Okay. He made a decision on his own without consulting his wife, his now wife, is to move his ex-wife and her husband down here to Huntsville, Alabama. Rent free. Just, yes, because he has rental property and he can let them stay in that rental property for nothing. Rent free. Don't have to pay a mortgage or nothing. Move just so he can have his son down here. Because to me, the ex-wife is giving him a hard time because he don't like, she don't like the new wife. And she never verbally talked to the new wife. Like, you know, but anyway, so, but I think what the ex-wife did was she watched them first episodes, their first season, and she heard Kimmy say that she did not want to raise another child. She wanted Maurice to be active in his life because, you know, we as women, we have all these children and the men go in and out, out of in, run here, there, everywhere. And they don't have to be, you know, like sitting there with the child. Got your own work, you did this, you that. So she wanted to make sure that, you know, Maurice, are you going to be 100% in to help me with monsters? It's not just going to follow me. So anyway, that's what the issue is. And so he decided to make these um, things without consulting his wife. And uh, yeah, she cried. I was like, who made Kimmy cry? Like, Kimmy is like Kimmy is a good woman to me from what I get I think that she's mature I think she's smart I think she's intelligent I think that she's a really good woman and for her to see for me to see that tear to go down her face like that I felt some type of way I was like who made Kimmy cry who the made Kimmy cry so yeah mm-hmm so now what you say about oh I forgot I said hold it hey, I dang how long I'm gonna hold 
Ooh, that's all I heard. That's all I heard. But anywho, thank you for allowing me to interject. You're so fake on camera. Hate him, man. Hate him. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> now you real. You want to make jokes. Uh, anyway, I understand. What's his name? Maurice. Mm -hmm. I understand why he wants to do that. And like I said, it's for a noble reason. But. To risk at a risk of ruining your marriage and your household because your ex wife is bitter and trying to hold your child over your head, sometimes you got to cut your losses, man. Okay, now I don't know if you explained this to your new wife before. Did he explain to the new wife before they got married the situation between him yeah. and the ex wife? Yeah, she, yeah, she knew, mm -hmm. man. So, but uh, you know, because I think he spent the monster spent the summer with them or okay. something like that, whatever. But my thing is, like I said, he's in a tough situation. It's a tough situation. There's no doubt about it. But you shouldn't put your 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 uh, now marriage in jeopardy because how your ex wife is is tripping because of your child. Sometimes you have to cut your losses, and you know, and when that child turns 18, he know where the daddy at. If he wants to come to see his daddy, he can come visit his dad or stay with his dad or whatever. And also. You gonna move a grown man? I don't know if he has a job or not up there in Michigan. I know that's right. Down to uh, Huntsville and pay for somewhere for he can stay. What kind of man is that? Yeah, and now if he agrees to that, <laughs> you, that's not a man. Yeah. You know, that's not a man. You gotta stand on your own two feet. You know, you got a wife, a stepson. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Don't take that awful, man. You, you, you say, man, tell your wife. Well, I appreciate what he's trying to do. He wants to be your son. Maybe he should step in and say, you know what? Since he wants to be your son so bad, let him go. Let, let, let his son go down and visit him, stay with him for a while, mm -hmm. and come back. Right. Because I don't want to be. That's just mess. Right. It's going to be nothing but drama. Yeah. Then you got. You, we don't know how the, the husband feels mm -mm. in Michigan. Because she made that decision right. even without asking him. So we don't know how he feels, but we know how. Kimmy Kim feels, that's right, that's your nickname. Kimmy Kim feels, we know how she feels because it upset her. And and the ex-wife and the wife don't like each other. And next week episode, we're going to see the ex-wife. And she got a hair did. <laughs> Ooh, she knew she was coming on camera. Uh, she got that her. hair done. She got that makeup. She pulled out that Mercedes. What's that a Mercedes? See, there you go. There you go. They look like they're eating at the Gold Corral, though. It was a drop top V6 Mustang. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I remember V6 hey. it was a drop top V6 hey. Mustang. In the 80s. Don't it's like you know? Hard hey, you don't know what you see. How you... But, anywho, uh -huh. but like I said, there's a noble reason why he's trying to do it, but I think he's going by the wrong way. That's just bottom line. Yep. So, but anyway, next week. <laughs> Call it cut you off. The last one is, this is what I am a little bit mm, on. Okay, so we found out on this episode that Mar, um, that Melanie is pregnant, right? And she ain't pregnant, man. Um, yeah, she pregnant, baby. You can mm. see the Instagram and all that stuff she's going on. She pregnant. So. About who? So, anyway. I'm just trying to figure out when she got pregnant because like, is she like, because she been putting them out and putting them in separate rooms. So I'm just trying to figure out like, when y'all come together yeah, to get pregnant. Did he sneak out the room? Did he kind of unlock the door and crept in one night? That's what I'm saying. See, that's what we need. So we've been watching on episodes where you got, he's staying upstairs, you downstairs, he in one cabin, you in another cabin. So when did y'all come together? Because the show ain't no, what, Jesus, baby. Or the reason why she keep mentioning cheating, did she step out? Did she? Did she come down to the ham? <laughs> she been down to the ham. <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> you know that came to the Birmingham. But yeah, yeah, so that's my thing is like, we need more Info. Like, we need how detail. many weeks are you? Yeah. Like a yeah. few weeks? Yeah, she six like, seven nah, weeks? she probably, like you said, like five or six weeks look like. Cause she ain't sh she's not showing. Well, how does she five or six weeks look like? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, okay, then you you uh, got it like that. You know by pregnant uh, women. I just know she's not showing, and so yeah. she so. Anyway, so this what like I said, you guys. This was not a review. This was just our opinion and just little things that we were talking about in the um thing downstairs. So I all, think that's pretty much it. All, it? all I want to see next week. I want to see the ex-wife. Well, I did. Yeah. Her nails on fleet. <laughs> that makeup dern. <laughs> and they sitting at the Golden Corral. I said, Mark. Y'all consider that a better restaurant? Man. Y'all sitting at the buffet. Yeah, y'all, y'all come with the Applebee's. Oh, the some hunt. Cracker Barrel. Yeah, you got Cracker Barrel right there in Huntsville somewhere. Yeah. But anyway, so you guys, I hope you enjoyed our little whatever well, it was. It was. Yeah. <laughs> and we just kind of did something a little different because, of course, we do talk about couples things on this channel. So we just gave our opinion. All right, you guys. So on that note, we are getting ready to get out of here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I told you that this is something a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not watching Love, Marriage, Huntsville, go ahead and watch it on Saturday nights on the OWN channel at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, I gave a little shout out. Oprah, see my chick. Okay? Oprah, All right. Oprah, said, girl, who you is? I am who I need to be. Send my chick and Tyler put me down there on one of them stew shows. Don't, All right. Don't beat me, Oprah. Don't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. We acting silly. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to go with God. Let God go with you. And deuces.